Hello, hello, welcome to how I draw episode. I'm so excited for this video because I want to show you how I am learning to draw instead of telling you to draw like this. So you can have the best chance of creating your own art and have more commitment. I am one of those per people who want to keep a beautiful illustration books and files but to be honest I am actually not able to keep it on a consistent approach I am I'm still trying so many approaches approaches and I know I am very patientless in doing a huge project but it is always achievable I am Linda, a self-taught illustrator from my studio, Linsara Illustration, and I'm sharing my journey of learning illustration as a guide or diary to myself and also for you. A foundational practice anyone could do is daily drawing practice, even if it is a small dot. So that's what I am doing. I draw every day morning traditionally and digitally as well. So today I'm going to share my process of doing a traditional drawing. And remember, this is my learning process. If you need more professional notes, make sure to visit the right drawing class. So let's get started. So your project is to come up with your own version of illustration, either digital or traditional and share it. I really encourage you to note down all the new discoveries you make in the process while you doing the process. Also make sure to share in my social Instagram by tagging linsara underscore illustration. And also remember, you must share. Even if you're not sharing on the public platform, make sure to share it with your family members. Show, tell them, this is what I want to do. This is the project I want to do today. Or this is the things I want to do for the week. You know, things like that. So it is you. there is someone who can keep it accountable and ask you, did you do it or not? There is, a, there is no special tool required. A paper and a pencil is more than enough. I used only paper and pencil. Uh, yeah color book and a pencil and regular crayons and color pencil so um today i want to create a butterfly pattern because recently i got inspired by an artist from instagram nelly sunelli and from then i'm unknowingly ended up drawing patterns every time i'm not sure if that is my style yet but i'm happy and open to explore more so what is it that you want to draw today find the answer for that first If you are not able to find out the answer what to draw today, just look around, look around what you see, what you are seeing right now. Uh, even uh, if, even if, if it's a plant, it's good, you can draw a plant. Even if it's a pen, yes, just draw a pen. That's also good, that's also a drawing. So what do you, if you are not having that inspiration to, if you doesn't know what to draw, just look around and find an inspiration. I'm doing a traditional tracing method. Yesterday night I had this idea to draw. So immediately I drew a butterfly on a paper and decided later to draw it as a pattern. So I shade the back of the paper with pencil and I start to trace on my book. If you do not have a drawing book, you can just draw on your FO paper. And if your FO paper is not giving you any inspo to make it more interesting, fold the FO paper into two or cut the FO paper into a shape. And then there you got a beautiful paper which allows you to draw on a small space. You can either draw FO or FI or any paper you want. Now remember to consider your schedule all the time and see where you can fit in your drawing. Find the best time that you can draw and draw only 20 to 30 minutes if you do not have much time. Usually I draw early morning. Uh, early I wake up at 3.30 or 4 o'clock and I draw for 2 hours or 1.5 hours. So it gives me um, more inspiration to draw and I, didn't, I don't complete that drawing but uh, uh, by the end of the day, I do finish that drawing because uh, because I did a, developed a concept in the morning, it automatically uh, encouraged me to finish the drawing in any time of the day. So before sleeping, I will finish that. Either I will almost complete that drawing or I will finish that drawing. And 
recommend I would recommend start your drawing on pen and paper or book because uh, of course traditional it is traditional other reason is there is no undo button it allows you to see the mistakes in your art and remember where you want to improve so in this illustration you will see the butterfly body is not symmetrical it, it, uh, when a color most of the time butterflies are symmetrical right but mine it is not every time I look back into this illustration I will remember it is important to keep symmetrical now on that note let me also remind you when you draw something on a paper if it is not a realistic approach you are going for then draw what you want to see I was aware that my butterfly are not symmetrical but I was happy with that approach and uh, but also I want to try the symmetry cow butterfly on next one so how you want to see your art on the paper is what you're going to love not imitating same as it is unless you are going for a realistic approach so let there be mistakes because we can learn only from mistakes After tracing all the butterflies, I started coloring the butterflies. <laughs> so I wanted a blue and black butterfly. That's all I knew. Uh, so I'm using the colors whichever I need. My only view is butterfly must be blue and black. When, uh, when I was a kid, I got first prize in coloring in a VBS, that is Vocational Bible School. There were around or more than 200 kids on that uh, VBS. Fun fact is that that is the only coloring competition I ever had in my life and I won the first prize. <laughs> Anyways, I still remember at my grandparents' house, I used crayons, my nail, my coins to create a smooth texture and also coconut oil. So I decided to use the same technique here and I heard in someone's video I don't remember who was it uh, to use crayons as a base and use the watercolor on top of it I never tried those but I'm applying the same principle here also so first I rubbed uh, oil coconut oil again it's my way uh, there is no uh, usually in drawing the uh, what is that lit okay what's some kind of not lit okay that's an English name uh, linseed oil uh, some there's a specific oil anyway uh, you can research on that so I rubbed it with the coconut oil and it immediately pops up the color in my eyes okay and then I use the um, uh, crayons on top of it and then use the color pencil and a black pencil and a liner and top of each color I did a shadow coloring so on top of uh, the for the butterfly I used blue and black and top of blue color pencil I did dark blue color as shadow and purple as a uh, light color or um, highlight color so um, even if it is digital or traditional that's how I try to use um, first I line draw and then flat colors once I'm happy with the colors flat colors then do shadow and highlight colors um, so if uh, if you want you can do texturing also so but I'm happy with the this way for this project okay and yes yeah, so after the butterfly is done I gave a drop shadow with pencil and yes yeah, merged with an earbud and I was extremely happy with the result because few months before I couldn't do this at all I was only comfy on doing digital coloring because like I was very comfortable with the doing undos and uh, I could correct the colors if the colors doesn't make me happy the, the nobody will see the mistake right because it hides the mistake so and I'm uh, and I was still st I am and I, I was and I am still worse at choosing colors so why when I look back if I look back 
a few months before where I was and where I am what I'm doing right now I'm actually very very happy with the result remember I said in the beginning daily practice so I heard many asking uh, which um, which uh, brush in digital drawing which brush you use you see uh, I don't I don't believe in that concept yes of course brush does give effect that's true but if he doesn't know to draw the basic it doesn't matter which brush we are using and when we look in the pencil drawing that is traditional drawing it, it is all it is good the the art will look good only if we do the line drawing correct so don't keep that uh, intention that I have to use a good uh, brush to get a good drawing no you have to do get your basic of drawing correct so better practice every day so once all the butterflies are done then I did add simple flowers and leaves on it and given a pattern appearance now if I do this on digitally I will do more better approach to the same drawing if you do want to see the same drawing as digital illustration and how I will do it dig digitally let me know in the comment section And uh, finally, I was feeling a lack of yellow in this. If you doesn't know, I love adding yellow colors in my drawings. I don't know why, but yellow gives me a lot of satisfaction in my drawing for me. I feel like my drawing is complete. But um, in this one, I do not want to overpower the yellow with the butterfly. Because remember, digital means you can undo, but here it, it is going to ruin my coloring. So what I did is I colored, a, uh, colored the yellow color on a paper and then scratched it on the on the illustration as a background so over here and there so it does make me happy obviously it didn't overpower the butterfly and it does give a background appearance for this so that is um, my that is how I would love to do on a book So 
So that is it. That is how I approach this project. If you want to see how I will do the same digitally also uh, also if you have any other specific video for me to do let me know and also please do not forget to join by subscribing and hitting the bell and leave a thumbs up for this video which will support me a lot and i could help you if you could help me and if you do enjoy please do reshare the video with your friends and families and once you are done with your project remember to tag me in my instagram linsara underscore illustration remember i took two and a half hours to draw this illustration okay so best of luck create your own illustration thank you have a wonderful drawing Thank you.